you guys. We are going to be intermittent fasting. Is that even how you intermittent? It? We're going to be intermittent fasting this week for we're going. Oh God. Hello. It is. It's Monday. So really quick. I'm on this weight loss journey. I started my journey at 200 pounds in December of 2021. And now I currently weigh 159 pounds. Okay. So now that we got that out of the way. So basically this week, I'm going to be fasting for 16 hours and I'll only be allowed to eat during an eight hour window. So I actually have tried this video before. However, I was reading some of the comments and you guys were like letting me know that I kind of did it wrong. So apparently I'm supposed to stick to a certain time slot and keep it that way the entire week. So this week I'm going to allow myself to start eating at 12 so 12 noon and i will stop eating around 8 p.m so currently it's around 12 15 12 20 right now and i still haven't eaten anything but my time slot to eat has officially begun so basically the whole goal is to just lose weight you know i'm just trying to find something that's going to jump start me into losing weight so that i can get to the next weight loss stage does that make sense like i'm currently in the 150s i want something to get me down to the lower 150s so like anything between 150 pounds to 155 pounds now that sounds like a lot that sounds like a lot to accomplish this week, but I will honestly be happy if I see 157 or 156. Um, I think we can do it. I am gonna go to my grandma's house today though. <laughs> I am going to eat some of my grandma's food, so pray for me. We're just going to think positive. We're going to focus on eating more foods that have more nutritional value. My name is Natalie. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I realize that I don't say my name a lot in my videos. I just kind of like go. <laughs> um, I was going to do my makeup today, but I don't feel like it. You know, like I just, it's Monday. Like I don't feel like doing that. So stick around for this journey. Every morning I'm going to weigh myself and you guys are going to see how much I weigh. I used to be embarrassed to like show my weight. But then I just realized that it's just a number and it can literally change. So basically, I'm going to be showing you guys everything that I eat. And once it hits 8 p.m., it's over. I cannot eat a morsel more. And I think the only thing that I can have is water. Okay, so when I'm fasting, I can only have water. Okay, y'all, as you guys can see, it is currently 1235. The time has begun. It's raining outside it just hit 8 p.m. so I'm no longer going to be eating anything I'll only be drinking water hey y'all so I just had my joy burst it's currently 402 in the afternoon and I had that joy burst like about 10 minutes ago so yeah we're getting a late start I ended up fasting for more than 16 hours. It just ended up being that way. I didn't plan for that. I just, you know. I had tacos yesterday at my grandma's house and I also had some fideo soup and I had a cinnamon roll. I had some grapes. I had some fruit. I had some chips. It was Memorial Day. So my diet has just been all over the place. And in order to lose this weight, my brain is just thinking, you know, restrict your calories, um, eat more for less, so eat more fruits. So I'm thinking of cutting up a watermelon today and just having some fruit today. At 3 p.m., I did have my women's multivitamin. I take this every single day. They're really good. They're really chewy. Another thing is I don't feel motivated to work out, but I know I just have to get my booty on the treadmill and just work. 
I'll see you guys in the next clip. Hey y'all, so it's a couple hours later and I'm here at HEB and I'm just basically contemplating what I want to have for dinner today and I'm kind of uh, beating myself up a little bit because I feel as if I'm not, you know, eating enough protein. Let's go do this. Also, really quick update, I just got back home from HEB and I decided to have protein pasta for dinner just because it is 7.10 right now and I need to not be eating past 8. So we're just going to have something really quick and I also picked up a couple of sweets and treats and we're working on it. Okay, you guys, we're working on it. Um, yeah, I'll talk to you in a bit. and I just had my first bite of food so y'all this morning I woke up 158 pounds I had to hurry and eat my protein pasta yesterday when I say I scarfed that pizza that pizza when I say I scarfed that pasta down I scarfed it down girl I did and the sauce that I got yesterday I discovered that it's my new favorite sauce it's a spicy marinara sauce it's delicious and before I made my toast, I did have my women's multivitamin. So y'all, let's talk about yesterday. So I was just basically kind of beating myself up over choosing sweeter foods compared to choosing protein foods. But then it ended up working out because yesterday I had that protein oatmeal cookie and I also had a bunch of protein pasta. And the good thing about protein pasta is that it literally tastes the exact same as regular pasta. So... I felt pretty good. So today I am going to be going to the mall and I'm going to get a lot of walking done. So we're going to get our exercises. Okay, we're going to exercise. And I'm also very proud of myself that I did exercise yesterday. I was just walking on the treadmill, scrolling through TikTok. Like, why don't I just do that all the time? Why don't I just get on the treadmill because I want to scroll on TikTok? If you guys are wondering, I have sunscreen on. Remember to wear your sunscreen, okay? Put it on your neck and on your, your chest bone. So I'm going to finish my toast and I'm also probably going to have a Celsius and we're gonna get going to the mall, girl. We are going to get some Starbucks. We're gonna get some more caffeine, girl. Is that is that good for me? Probably not, but we're doing it anyway. We're going to get a venti iced coffee with made with half and half and no sugar. So just coffee and half and half. I'm done eating. Good morning. It is currently the fourth day of the week. This morning I woke up 157 pounds. Okay, intermittent fasting. She's working? Like, what? So it is currently 1.02 and I still have not broken my fast yet. So I'm currently 17 hours fasted. And I am going to go ahead and start off with my vitamins. I do this every day, but yesterday I forgot to show you guys. They are so tasty. They're the easiest gummies. Like, I look forward to having these every day. So good. And then I just pour the rest in there. I don't know if you can read it right there, but it says adults take two gummies daily. So take two. Some people have made the mistake in just taking one. 
but you take two okay read the directions so you guys i'm feeling pretty darn good yesterday i had some dave's killer bread i had a celsius i had some sun chips and i also had some protein pasta which was delicious um i kind of felt a little bad because i was having pasta again um but i just love that sauce like i don't know what is in that marinara sauce but it is delicious if you love spicy sauces that's the one okay it's a little bit expensive it's like seven dollars a jar I know, but there's a reason why it's $7, girl. It's so good. And on the Yuka app, it was rated as excellent. So it didn't have any bad additives, anything funky, nothing funky was in there. So if it's good on the Yuka app, it's good for me. Okay, and all the items that I picked out from HEB, they're buddies. Oh, oh, he dropped the stick. Oh, oh, they're pooping. I'm sorry. I did not, that's embarrassing. Sorry, we'll leave you to it. Okay, who needs National Geographic when you have Natalie's backyard? So, I was extremely full yesterday. I remember looking at the clock and it was like 7.41 and I, were, I remember thinking like, oh my gosh, like I'm so bloated. Like, I had two servings of protein pasta and it was very good girls <laughs> very good um but i don't know what i'm gonna have today i'm thinking of cutting up some watermelon having some watermelon having a joy burst energy should i have a toast should i i don't know should i have some toast soup also sounds like a good idea i don't know i don't know i don't know we'll see but yeah i'm feeling very good we're doing it y'all summer is in the air okay we're gonna need to get into high gear these next two weeks my boyfriend wants to go to the beach sometime this month just like the thought of me having to squeeze myself into a bathing suit you guys i do this to myself i was looking back at my memories and i saw like april 29th i weighed like 157 pounds So you're saying a little bit over a month ago, I was, I weighed the, the exact same as I do right now. Love that. Love, love that. It's a blessing and a curse to have like your progression be documented because you can look back at where you were a month ago and realize that you're at the exact same position as you are right now. We're gonna get through it. Okay, all right. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next clip. and I am done eating for the day. Hey, okay, um, so good morning, you guys. It is the fifth day. I woke up 157 pounds. I'm currently getting ready to go to my cousin's graduation. What do we think of the fit? It's just black. Cause I'm trying to be the cool cousin. I'm also going to do the cool girl hairstyle, cool girl, the clean girl hairstyle. I still have my retainers on. I have aquaphor all over my mouth. We're just a mess, but we're living for the mess. My ring keeps, I don't know if you can see this, but my ring keeps like moving to the side. Usually it would just stay in place, but I looked it up online and it said that like when your hand shrinks or like when your when your weight fluctuates that can happen to your rings so my eating window is going to open up in a little bit and i don't know how today's gonna go because i have my cousin's graduation at two and then we have his graduation party at seven so as soon as i get there i have to hurry up and eat and then i'm just gonna be coasting the rest of the day you guys, not me not being in the shot the entire time. That's what I get for trying to do a new shot. Honestly, I am looking forward to getting some form of food in my system. I feel like as soon as I have like my toast or some form of caffeine, 
I'm going to just be more wide awake and I'm gonna love life more, you know? <laughs> I'm done eating. Good morning, people of YouTube. Hey y'all, so it is officially the end of the week. This morning I woke up 157 pounds. I'll take it. At the beginning of the video, I said that if I saw 156, 157, I would be happy with it. I'm happy with it, however, Let's talk about the pros and cons, right, of intermittent fasting. So a con that I kept coming across was I just did not find the motivation in the morning to get up and be productive. I kind of just always found myself waiting for it to be 12 so that I could eat something, so that I could go about my day, so that I could have energy to do things. Another con was yesterday I was celebrating a graduation with my family and um, you know the cupcakes and brownies were served like past 8 p.m. so I had to um, sustain what's that word I had to refrain I had to refrain from eating like the pastries and stuff which is good right that's like a good thing because I shouldn't be eating that late but also like that extra sugar just I probably like I shouldn't I shouldn't a pro is I felt as if I let my body actually have time to digest my food um, like when it came around to like the 16 hour fasted mark I really felt like my body like digested the food from the day before and it like reset and now I was able to you know start eating again I felt less bloated I definitely should have worked out more this week. I didn't drink as much water as I should have. For some reason, I didn't find the motivation to do my makeup at all this week. I was just like not having a girl. I was putting just sunscreen on. Maybe I put like a lip liner and a lip gloss on, but that was it. But I am going to be doing a get ready with me today, which you guys will be able to see tomorrow in tomorrow's video because I'm getting ready for my boyfriend and I's nine month anniversary. The whole purpose of this video was to just do an experiment to switch things up. I believe I properly did this intermittent fasting right this second time around. I'm definitely very curious to see what the results will be if I continue intermittent fasting for a month. I'm excited to see what that could possibly look like. I just really want to get out of the 150s y'all. Like I am tired of it i've hit this plateau i've been in this plateau thank you so much for watching my videos even though i'm in this carousel of confusion but if i'm stuck i'm pretty sure someone else out there is stuck and i want you to know that we're gonna get through it okay little wins are big wins and we just need to focus on the little wins okay and the little win for this week was that i ended up being 157 pounds Really quick side note, I am not a doctor. I am not a dietitian. I am not a medical professional. I do not work in the medical fields, okay? If you are considering trying a new diet, please contact your doctor just to make sure that everything is okay for you to switch up your diet. I'm just a girl here documenting my weight loss journey and this is all purely for entertainment um, and also I just like to document my journey as I'm going along. And really quick before we go, I just want to say thank you, thank you so much for participating in this week's community post. And stay tuned for next week so you guys can vote for what video you guys want to see for next weekend. And don't forget to check out my social streams below if you want to. You don't have to if you don't want to. But YouTube is where I'm at, girl. You can always count on me to post new videos absolutely every single Saturday and Sunday. I appreciate and adore you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for being here. And if you're also on a weight loss journey, just know that you are not alone and we're in this together. So that's pretty much it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.